Alright guys, and welcome back to more Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. And previously on the last episode, we pretty much got, um, we got paired up with Chie. And what we are doing now is pretty much just navigating through this very slim map. I guess this is the final floor. I would have to assume this is the final floor. And what we need to do now is pretty much just walk through this gate. And what we're going to do is, I guess, walk through this game. So let's do it. I can't even open up the menu. I tried opening up the menu, but I couldn't do it. But apparently this is a church. The long-awaited moment has come. The bride and groom are finally about to enter. The last moment of hesitation has arrived before you are to be wed. Getting married? Really? You know what? Give me a second, guys. I know this might be weird. You might see like some pop-ups or just give me a second. I want to see if I can take a snapshot directly from it's gonna be in my documents. So if I do this, I wonder if I can get a clear snapshot. Oh my god, did that really just save? <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> I don't even know if it's saved or not. <laughs> all right I'll, I'll check it out later but if this is the best way i can take snapshots and get better freaking i guess you could say thumbnails this this will be dope because i think i just found a way to take snapshots of the end game footage at a higher quality than i've been capturing at wow i just learned i just looked at this option i was like wait a sec what if i did this i apologize i was just exploring new options with my capture software here we go through your own free will, you decide to vow eternal love to each other. Hey, wait a sec! Bruh, I ain't ready. We're in high school! I never even thought about getting married! I need time to prepare myself and... Now, open the door, together. <laughs> the mechanical voice really doesn't give two shits. Well, we got no choice. You open the church door. What? I'm not ready yet. Well, I'm ready. Do, 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 do. Now, let's play. Oh, creepy face guy. Who is this guy? What, you think I don't know that? She is only level 12. I object to this wedding. <laughs> she objects? Oh shit. Your companions came rushing in gasping for breath. At the same time, your hands finally come unstuck. The power of bonds. After dodging countless traps and defeating countless enemies, Igis is here at your service. I have brought everyone to rescue you. You can relax now. Thank you very much, I guess. Time to say your vows. <laughs> Time to say your vows. <laughs> priest? A priest and five Persona users walk into a bar, right? <laughs> Time to say your vows. In sickness, splendid. In health. It looks like the dude from Bleach with the, the damn bowl haircut. Me so now you shall die. No, don't come near me. Oh boy. That must be the guardian of this labyrinth. What? Why is Spooka still my support? You gotta beat him, right? Oh wait, I have I have her voice set, but I have Rize's skill set. Okay. Skill costs are reduced to zero for one turn. Revive with half HP. I also want to act first for this turn. So you know what? What we want to do is probably try to find out his weakness. 
So what we want to do is try a multitude of uh, multitude of elements. So we're gonna let we're gonna let Yukiko Yukiko take care of the fire. We're gonna go ahead and try to poison him. We're gonna go ahead and try to use a wind attack against him. We're gonna try electric. She's gonna try Bufu. Or excuse me, he's gonna try ice. And she is going to try electric. And this music is just kick ass. Here we go. Dig it, dig it. Uh oh, critical hit incoming. Uh. Any poison? He's got poison. All we gotta do is block for the rest of this battle. Nice, he's weak against electric. Sanji is about to go in. Sanji or Sanji, Kanji is about to go in. You can silence Kanji all you want, but he's still going in on your ass. I guess we should not strike him. Well, he's gonna take poison damage anyway. Alright, so I guess we should back off, make sure we don't do anything. So we should probably just spend this time buffing or something, right? Better yet, there's no reason for us to do this right here. Damn, this costs four. Zero set is really good, but it costs four party points. You know, I actually might want to do that. Zero set, this will allow us to buff. Allow everybody to get some buff action going on. So let's defend. You know what? We'll use that as a last resort type deal. Like once everybody's like out of SP, like oh man, this is hard. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta start resorting to like using leader skills later. But right now we're probably just gonna raise our evasion rate. He can't. Damn it! I was gonna use Beast Roar, but I can't do that. He's got a guard. Or do does he? Yeah, he's got a guard. Look, we're gonna have Kanji guard. I can't strike, right? Oh, she can mind charge for free, though. <laughs> she can mind charge for free. And she can catch him with that electric shock. And right now, you know what? She can't even use me Patra. I guess we'll wait till that bind wears off. We'll just have her defend. Oh yeah, Masu Sukaja, Masu Kukaja. Oh, you missed, you missed, you missed, you missed, you missed, you missed. You're taking damage from poison. I'll make you take your vows. Okay. And we still did damage thanks to poison. Wow, this dude is free. He's weak against um. Uh, we haven't even tried fire yet. He could also be weak against fire as well, but you know what? We might as well do like flame link or something. We missed. No, we didn't miss an attack with Koromaru. I guess Koromaru, what he should try to do here. Probably just attack. Kanji, go ham, man. <laughs> he wants to go ham so bad. We're gonna do we're gonna do Zionga here. And her, she's just gonna defend. She can't do much. Orpheus! Oh, he's not weak against it, that's cool. Watch this. Oh, that mind charge damage. That flame link damage. That Sukukaja. <laughs> Bro, stay free. Stay free, homie. Alright, so we can strike him though. He said to bow not to use skills. I worry about what he means by that. I mean obviously don't use skills. He's basically like Mott. Or it was like some dude from Nocturne that did something very similar to this. 
I can use party skills though. Uh, leader skills? Probably not. Oh, uh, get shot. Uh. Uh, get wrecked, homie. Uh. Yeah, this boss is free. <laughs> this boss is hella free. Yep. Restrictions are lifted. Thank goodness. This dude is still looking pretty free. This dude is looking mad free right now. <laughs> now if we can put dude to sleep, just think about it. Put him to sleep with him and then hit him with poison. That's a GG. That is fucking GG for the rest of his life. Oh man, that costs so much. We're actually going to just attack regularly with her. And we're probably just gonna use a heal stone on Kodamaru. Put him to sleep. All right, it didn't work. Is that's fine. We got him poisoned though. Ah, uh, you're done. Take care of yourself. Dig it, 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 uh, get wrecked. What? So I'm guessing we can't use skills, we can't attack. <laughs> Poison is really good for this boss, but he makes you like obey his vows. Like if you got poison, this dude is free. <laughs> Agape my ass. Yep, we don't need to do anything. I'm kind of mad though because I can't use any skills. I should just use a skill to see what happens, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm not about that life. I'm not about to defy his vows. I can't defy God. Hey, we had to defend anyway, though. He's taking damage anyway. <laughs> the vows effects are gone. Bro, you are now free. Employ our preferred tactics. Bro, you are free. We're gonna heal with him. Kanji, just go in. <laughs> just go in, bro. And finally, all of our damn skills are like... We can finally use our skills. Because he had a... Uh, he locked up uh, Kanji and y Yukiko's uh, skills. You know, just in case he wants to do something this turn that might do something ridiculous, I'm gonna use Holy Blessing. It's pretty far into the fight, but Holy Blessing can still save lives here. He might do like some bull crap. Damn it, that's what I was trying to prevent, but she's too slow. Oh, she attacked though. That's good. You're getting fucked up by poison, dog. Ooh, you know what's fucked up? That was that was a nice combination the boss has. He puts you under panic where you basically can't control your actions and he basically tells you not to do anything and then if you're panicked, you're screwed. That's exactly why I try to do holy blessing, but you Yukiko is so slow. I did not even realize that was gonna happen. Had I used the leader skill to make everybody go first that round, that would have probably been smart to do that, but I did not predict that he would actually use this combo, which is actually a pretty nice combo. I gotta give him props, but he's fucking dead by poison next turn, so. Hopefully, like, whatever punishment it is, like, from attacking, she's gonna get punished for that, I think. Alright. Stay free. 
<laughs> Stay free though? But that was a last. That was fun. Wow. That was a lot of experience for no reason. Looks like your persona's getting stronger. Damn right. Restores HP and removes ailments binds each for three turns. Digga 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 do 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 digga do. Golden Link? Will I, will I ever use this? I think you have to use other Link skills. If everyone else on your team has like a Link skill, it basically counts up the Link damage, I guess. So you know what? That's fine. So what I'll get rid of is actually Strength Vine. That's nothing to me, man. Fort Spear. Medium chance of another attack after regular attack. Ooh, that sounds really good. I'm manlier than ever! Makoto Kaja, good stuff. Ooh, and he's got critical hit ratio up. Oh yeah. It's a wrap. And he's getting orb of power. I can do even more now. Nice, Ice Wall. That's gonna be good, I guess. She's growing up too. Oh, I didn't know Chimera was a she. Torn Bible. Good stuff. Dude, we made that boss look free. <laughs> oh, just as we thought. A chest. I will open it. Zen! No! Don't touch that! I'm telling you, she's got her own memories. She's got her memory. She doesn't want him to remember and shit. Like, if you guys remember, in like part 16, she says something about her friend having a rabbit. And I'm like, if you lost your memories, how the hell you know you got a friend that got a rabbit? I'm like, hell no. Hell no. I see through your lies. Sorry. I'm sorry, Zen. I'm sorry I started playing that Phoenix Wright music. I mean, I just got too hyped. It's all right. I'm as confused as you are. Sure. Zen picks up what he pulls out of the box, which looks like a damn... No, I almost... Like, I, I kind of, like, looked cross-eyed at the image, and it looked like a damn mushroom from Mario. <laughs> from a certain angle. But it looks like he pulled out a ring. A damn... It's a ruby ring. It appears to be a ring. Is that a toy ring? Like the ones they sell at fairs? <laughs> it looks like a ring pop. But like I was saying before, Ray probably still has her memories. If you remember, uh, like, back in episode 16, like, around, I think, the 10-minute or 13-minute mark, the 13 to 15-minute mark, she said something about her bunny, uh, about her friend having a bunny. I'm like, wait a minute. How you remember this? <laughs> I had one back in the day. It made me feel like a princess, and that was my royal heirloom. So, Zen, is anything coming back for you yet? Yes. I was searching for something in this world. It was because Ray cried, but I couldn't find it. Ray, I think this ring is yours. I don't know. Then why did you tell me not to touch it? I don't know. I just thought that you shouldn't. That stuffed rabbit we found in the previous labyrinth, that was also Ray's. Why are her things in the depths of the labyrinths? Zen! I hate you, Zen! Hate? Me? What the hell are you talking about, girl? It's... it's all your fault! I... I don't care about you anymore! Ray, don't cry. I'm sorry, it's my fault. Are we kind of intruding here? This cruelty is trying on us single people. I do have a space open right here, you know. Damn it, Teddy. It'll be open forever. Ooh. Ooh, heartbroken Teddy. You know what I just noticed? Like, it's a very small detail, but I just noticed it. As you can see, like, if something happens, like, what just happened to Teddy? He was shocked, like, oh, man, my heart's broken. If you look at the uh, the text bar, there's a heart icon, and then sometimes you'll see exclamation icons, too, depending on, like, the reaction from the character. That's cool. I noticed those details because I'm an editor myself. <laughs> well 
everyone. When you get back, please come to the Velvet Room. All right, all right, Fuka. Another lock is about to come off. It is. Then our hypothesis was correct. All right. There seems to be nothing else inside. Time to return to your waifu. Apparently, I'm still supposed to put doors here, like, real talk. And here we go. Upstairs we go. That wall seems off. Shall we examine it more closely? There's a secret passage here. Secret passage here. Secret pass. Whoa! How did we end up all the way over here? This is... Not what I was expecting. Oh, it's a power sponge. Spot. Spot. Say it with me, bro. Spot. Damn it! We're always getting into random encounters. <laughs> random. No, I don't want to fight this guy. What? Oh no! You know what's fucked up? I gotta fight him. If he's weak against fire, he's he's done. You know, I'm going all out on this guy. I really don't care anymore. I'm just going all out. Come on, make him fall. Nice, we made him fall, so he gets one less turn. And if we can poison him, he's done next turn. Yeah, he's done. You're done. You're done, Mike. You're done. Mate is done. There is one enemy remaining. Time to let my fist do the talking. Aji Lao. Uh, take that damage. Take this frame, uh, frame trap. Uh, that flame link. Look at those links. I got those links on lock. I'm making a lot of fighting game references. A lot of people don't even understand that. But... He just did a shitload of damage. This dude is done. You are done. He's done. This dude takes forever to beat, but I just went all out. Like if you if you're trying to conserve SP, this dude takes forever to beat. But since I just kind of just went all out, he's pretty free. New shots fired by Yukiko. The Royal Ron Jeremy Mustache. Come on, don't do this. Thank you, Rip Dress. I got something rare for, him, for that. What exactly was in here then? Dude, it just sent me back. Are you kidding me? It just sent me back. That's all it did. I'm so mad. I just wasted some time. All I did was send me back. Let's go. All right, let's save the game. I'm thinking maybe I should have made a separate save file just to reload through all the other choices I could have made. It's fine. Let's exit the labyrinth and finally return to the velvet room. One of the locks is about to come off. The lock has disappeared. Now there's only two locks, three velvet room employees, and two doors. After the bell rang a moment ago, the lock started rattling. Really interesting. 
So it's safe to say the labyrinths are linked to these locks. If we traverse the remaining two labyrinths and retrieve what their guardians are protecting, the doors allowing us to return to our worlds will most likely open. It's clear that these doors are connected to the real world from which you all hail. We looked into them, and we don't sense the presence of shadows beyond these doors. From one of the doors, I detect the familiar air of the world I know well. And from the other, Elizabeth and Theo say they feel something similar. That means we're about halfway done. <laughs> Looks like this might be a breeze to finish up. Yeah, halfway done with the game, dog. I think so, too. Yeah, this isn't even pushing our limits. Aren't there any stronger enemies? Yeah, we did body that priest, though. Risei-chan and I have located the next labyrinth. That priest was so free. He was freer than the priest from The Walking Dead. It's a display called the Evil Spirit Club. They're holding it at the second year class four room. Second year class four? Don't each of the years at our school only go up to class three? <gasps> that display's name is already a huge red flag for me. <laughs> With a name like that, maybe it's a haunted house. Are you scared, Chia-san? But you're an adult. That doesn't mean anything, Fine, Ken. Go. Well then, everyone, please be careful on your way. All right. Catch you later, Margaret. I will. <laughs>